Hello, God, how are you doing? You're probably wondering, who's this dodgy B-Tech Sergio Ramos looking fella? But that's my best mate, Higgsy. He plays semi-professional football and been in non-league for a while now, but is still working towards his dreams of being a full-time footballer once again. We've had some great memories together and are known as the iconic duo throughout lockdown and the COVID era, creating videos of us working hard to become footballers and most of the time being very, very silly on camera. We've had a very similar football journey, both growing up at Norwich City and signing pro contracts there. Both of us have got dodgy knees, tearing our ACLs, but his are even worse because the silly little boy did them on both of his knees. That's enough context, let's get into the video of a day in the life of a pro and non-league aspiring footballer. Bosh! What's good my people, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. It's been a long time since I've said that, all right? But as you can tell from the title, we are doing a day in the life and this is how we start off our day. So I've actually got some overnight oats here, yes? My preparation for the day starts the night before, all right? I've got oats, protein, bananas, raspberries, blueberries, chia seeds, Everything you need to have a good day, yeah? Start your day right. So, uh, if you want to know how I'll make my overnight oats, then follow this Instagram. It's called Pass Instagram. Didn't see that. Okay, so I actually want to talk about a supplement that I've been taking for the last few weeks now, and this is AG1 by Athletic Greens, and they've actually sponsored today's video. Now, as a professional athlete, looking after your health and fueling your body in the correct ways are so important for maximizing performance. It's hard to fuel yourself with all the vitamins and minerals that my body craves as an athlete, so AG1 actually helps supplement the gaps in my diet, so I'm ticking all the boxes when it comes to my health and giving myself the best chance in maximizing my performance. I've kept my daily routine now for the last three weeks of having AG1 on um, just one serving a day and I've definitely felt and reached the benefits. The best thing about it is that it's so easy and convenient to take and it's definitely a daily habit I'll be sticking with. I mean it doesn't taste like sunshine and rainbows yeah but um, it doesn't taste too bad either. AG1 is packed with 75 vitamins and minerals but in basic terms this special blend of ingredients helps your body's nutritional needs and supports your gut health, immune system, improves your energy, your recovery, your focus and even aging. So guys click the link in the top of my description as I've got a great offer for you guys. Athletic Greens is going to give my community which is you guys an immune support in one year free supply of vitamin D and also five free travel packs with your first purchase. I'm so grateful I can offer a product that genuinely helps and should be a part of everybody's daily routine if you're an athlete or not and once again click the link at the top of my description to get this great offer and thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Boys, some of you may or may not know, yeah. We have upgraded the Wiz. She is beautiful, I can't lie. If you're an OG of the channel, you'll know I had a nice little red Corsa called Ruby. She was red. I just said she was red. I haven't done a vlog in a long time yet. I feel like I forget how to talk to the camera. I just lost it. <laughs> ah! Guys, we upgraded the Wiz about a few months ago. Ruby Rose. The red Corsa, I had her for about four or five years and she was giving up on me, yeah? So it was about time we upgraded, but yeah, this is Snow White. She is beautiful, can't lie. But yeah, it is currently nine o'clock in the morning and we are now on our way to training. Um, we don't have to be in until quarter to 10. I usually like to get in a little bit earlier, just do a little bit more stretching, pre-activation, just make sure my body's all good. Um, I'm not rushing about, I can just chill out a little bit do my stretching, do my foam rolling, and yeah, chat to the boys for a little bit. So uh, yeah, let's head to the training ground. Gotta get my camera. Anything for the cinematics, eh? All 
Right, so we've made it to the training ground. We're really lucky here at Waterford because we've probably got one of the best facilities um, to train at in the country. So, so yeah, it's an absolute privilege to be able to train here every day um, because the facilities are class. We've got absolutely everything we need here. So I'm going to take you inside and uh, get changed because I know you'll want to watch me get changed, get weirdos. And uh, yeah, let's see what Higgs is up to. What a shock. He's still asleep. Non-league ballers, eh? Got it easy. Oh, boys, we're finally up. Well, to be honest, I've already been up. I've already had a shower, but we had to record that for the video. But what we're trying to tell you is for non-league ballers, it's completely different. We don't have a really early start time where we train in the morning. Our training will be later on at night. Lads that play semi-pro and non-league will have other commitments during the day. They'll have jobs. So it's kind of a bit backwards. I've got to do all my individual work, all my gym work before the team training. So with that being said, I'm going to go cook myself some breakfast, have some food, and then we're going to be heading to the gym. I'll show you what we chef up. But other than that, I'll see you boys in the gym. Right, so before we do anything, we're gonna have our breakfast. We have got a free egg scrambled egg, one bit of bread. We've got some ketchup. I can't lie, some of you will hate me for this, some of you will love me for this. Of course, we're gonna be slapping this ketchup on there. And we have got our, our water jug, which with all the training we're gonna be doing, hydration is one of the things I'm gonna be focused on the most, just because it's something I feel like I'm not that great at. Bringing it back to the olden days, number 10 was my favourite number growing up. So, uh, yeah, when I had the option um, at the start of the season to pick a number, 10 was there and I was like, you know what, we're taking it back to the olden days, to number 10. All right, and we're in our training kit. Boys, my hair right now is so long, bro. Like, look how long it is. Like, I'm looking like Lord Farquhar and that. I can tuck my hair behind my ears, bro. Yeah, let's get on with our day. All right, so Laz, before we head off to the gym, I thought we'd watch Connor because I know he's got to do his pre-activation before he goes out to train. Obviously, he's going to be training early. So let's have a look. He's got the foam roller. Very nice tech is there. All on the booty. That's got to hurt. IT band kills as well. Come on, give us some stretches. There we go. Stretch those legs. You're about to go out, run around, kick a ball. He's climbing some stairs midair. Not sure what that was. Glute activation though. See Pete, you're looking very activated mate. And now you're ready to train. You'll often see footballers wearing these funny little bras that they wear over their training gear. And they're actually called GPS vests. Okay, so there's a little GPS tracker in the back. And if you're wondering what sort of data we'll usually get during our training days. And for example, on a Monday, where I said it's short and sharp, it'll usually be around 5K, but we'll have a lot more accelerations and decelerations because the distances in our training sessions are a little bit shorter, but it's a lot more high intense. Whereas the Tuesday sessions, our drills and stuff will be a lot more bigger. So we'll have a lot more running. So we'll have to get a lot more distance into our legs. Before training even starts on a Tuesday, we'll have to get maximal sprints in because it's so important to make sure you're hitting your maximal sprint efforts weekly to especially prevent hamstring injuries and the distances on a Tuesday will usually be around seven kilometers. Why are you munching my food, man?
Okay guys, so in the last seven days, I've actually played three full 90 minute games. So recovery is really important for me right now. So me and Ronan went over to the recovery lounge in Watford. So I'm gonna show you guys my recovery routine that I like to go through to give my body the best chance it can to recover and to reduce injuries. Ronan, you ready to get in? The hardest thing in the world. <laughs> so about that. 1.3 degrees. Feeling. It's the first two minutes in here, it's like absolute pain. You gotta get through it. Once you get through that, it's not too bad. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna do about 10 minutes straight in here. And a normal ice bath, like you just done at home, is usually about six to eight degrees. But this right now is 1.6 degrees. And it's absolutely freezing, all right? And they have these little jets inside the ice bar and it makes it so much colder and harder but after you do this you feel absolutely great so we'll do this and then we'll hop into the hot tub for 10 minutes and then we'll hop into the infrared sauna for 10 minutes as well and then we'll also do 20 minutes on the normal tech and that'll be our recovery done Just not coming. Oh, I hate that feeling, man. Anyway, but yeah, guys, we've done our ice bath, we've done the hot tub, and we've done the infrared sauna. Um, we're now jumping on to these great little bit of equipment. They're called Normatex. Um, these basically help flush out all the lactic acid um, that could be built up into your legs. But guys, the best thing I invested in for my recovery was this whoop band right here, okay? I'll put a few bits on the screen, but it's basically having a scientist on your wrist, all right? And it's completely specific to you. I mean, monitors your health. Every single day I wake up with like a recovery score. But guys, I saw players like Ronaldo, Trent Alexander-Arnold, a lot of the Liverpool players all wearing these like black bands. And I was like, I was, so, I, was, I was curious as to what it was. And I found out what it was and it was whoop. And it was probably one of the best things that I've invested in, especially for my health and my recovery um, and looking after my body, all right? So if you guys want to get involved in that, um, then use my link that's in the description and uh, you'll get the band for free and you'll get the first month free as well. And uh, yeah, you get a really good offer using my link. 100% recommend getting on Whoop if you're serious about your body and looking after yourself. And in, this, in the last seven days, I've played three games or I've played 90 every game so my body is absolutely feeling it so recovery is vital and i've actually got another game tomorrow so that'll be my fourth game in like 10 days or something which is crazy so yeah recovery is really really important for me right now to make sure i don't get injured i'm preparing myself as best i can to have an optimal performance and obviously i'm using my whoop band as well to make sure my recovery is in tip top notch all right boys so we are back in the crib i can't lie we went and got a little Trim. Ooh, I can't lie, my trim. I don't even know what to say about my trim, man. The beard. I don't know what you boys are saying. I keep getting called Sergio Ramos B Tech Edition. Even my boy CP is on it now. I really don't know what I'm doing. I can't lie. My mindset is I'm gonna get absolutely shredded. I'm gonna be the fittest, most athletic I can get, and then I'm probably gonna go shorter on top because I'll just look super lean, and it will all kind of like come together. Anyway, we are back now. Of course, you saw me do my 
lower body session today. If on a day where I had training, I did an upper body session, I'd be more inclined to go to the park, to the football pitches, and do some individual work even before I have football training. And of course, on top of that, one of the biggest things with non-league and semi-pro is the fact that you only train once or twice a week with your team. Sometimes once, I can't lie, the team I'm playing for currently, most of our sessions earlier in the week will be getting canceled, so we'll only be training once a week with the team and the rest it will be on my own individual sessions but today's kind of nice with a really good lower body session we've got team training later so what we're going to do is we're going to cook up some food to have before we leave to go to training but yeah let's get chefing oh you press right so boys the chicken is in the pan it's starting to cook so we're going to let that cook a little bit fast we actually used seasoning that came with this little two-step butter chicken sauce that we found i don't even know where i got this from audi i think maybe and we're now cutting up the mushrooms we've got some peppers and we're going to throw in some of this spinach later on you'll see what happens to that and we've literally got the basics the whole grain rice and this is how easy it is to meal prep we've got three chicken breasts in there we're going to chop everything in pretty much at some point cook it store it we're going to eat one of the portions tonight and yeah let's get cooking here we go boys now we just got to mix this all up Right, so as you can see, we've added the sauce. We're now just stirring it up, just trying to make sure it's covered everywhere. So boys, here we go, the final product. I can't lie, it is very basic, but it's also very tasty because of the sauce. We've got some plain whole grain rice. We'll probably mix that all in together. Have that with a nice drink of squash. And yeah, let's munch this up. We have just finished training. It's about half nine. We've got an hour of drive home. It was a good session, nice and sharp. We're going to check in with CP, but my bet's that he's fast asleep right now. We've got an hour drive home. We'll get home around quarter to 11 probably. We're going to shower and then go to bed. Tomorrow there's no team training, so we're going to have to do all our own individual football work. But people, that is it from the video. Thank you so much for supporting and watching. Drop a like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.